We're here at the AES show in New York on the Oceanway audio booth with Alan Sides. He's going to show us some new speakers. So, Alan, these new speakers, they look like quite something, and they do some interesting things with uh, horizontal dispersion, don't they? So do you want to tell us what they're all about? Well, it's pretty unusual. You know, we've made high-end speaker systems for studios, of course, for a long time, and we do very high-end audiophile speakers. But we really wanted to find something that would be the ultimate sort of big, small speaker, something that you'd put right in front of a console, just like you would normally say small speakers, but I wanted something that would give you, would give the mixer a possibility of sitting, you know, in the A position and have eight people behind him hear exactly what he's hearing. Mm -hmm. It's that conflict where you're at home and you're hearing it's right and your artist is saying, but I don't hear the vocal at the right level, or I don't hear the background. He says, no, it's really fine, come up here and sit down and listen to it. Sure. Which is why we sort of draw these lines on the floor to show what 100 degrees versus 30 degrees looks like. So what this is, this system, if you measure the response at zero, and you go 40 degrees off of zero, it's identical, so there's no difference at all. And it's, you know, from basically, you know, 25 hertz to 30 kilohertz, 25 kilohertz, it's amazingly uniform in that regard. The other thing that's intriguing is, well, these are constant directivity, uh, high frequency and mid-bass horn. And the high frequency horn, if you were looking at a conventional dome, um, in a conventional loudspeaker, typically, you know, usable horizontal is about 40 degrees. As you get further off axis, it just begins to fade. Yeah. In this situation, it doesn't do that at all. It stays constant response and constant level as you get across. Mm -hmm. But also what it does is, if you had a, a conventional dome and you're monitoring, as I said, 85 dB or 90 dB, and you're listening to some fairly high transient stuff, that dome is really at the edge of its capacity. I mean, if you get a transit 105 or 110, it's going to basically get a collapse on you, or it's basically going to compress mm -hmm. and actually be fairly high distortion. In this particular configuration, our dome um, picks up almost 18 dB efficiency at 1K. So it's just coasting, mm -hmm. you know, and you're monitoring at 105, you got no problem. 115, you're still fine. Mm -hmm. It'll produce some pretty amazing levels with very low distortion. And um, the time alignment, the phase alignment of them all. Yeah, the, the, the high frequency and mid-range have absolute physical time alignments. They don't require any digital correction. Mm -hmm. And the low frequency woofer, though it's slightly ahead, is basically, uh, at that wavelength, is absolutely no issue. So everything is in perfect alignment. Right. This also is this concept, it, we think of each system as a three-way speaker. And the high frequency horn, mid-bass, and low, it's not like a sub. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's all balanced, all designed to arrive at the same time. A lot of people have like a sub in the middle, aim at the ceiling or they have the back. Sure. And so if you hit a kick drum, the arrival times aren't correct really. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to hear a clean, pure transit to make a decision of how much 35 hertz or 40 hertz you're putting in the kick and how you're going to do it, it's much easier if the mm -hmm. transits arrive at the same time. There's another manufacturer has woofers aiming at the top and the bottom and all this other stuff. And like, that's fine, you can get quantity, but you can't necessarily get the same sort of a, a clear attacks and transients. Mm -hmm. That is what you need as a mixer to make those decisions that we do. And so the uh, amplifier as well that's driving yeah, all of the, this. You know, we're running, yeah, there's amplifiers, it's a, it's a stereo and it's my amp, and there's an amplifier in the sub. So the, the sub basically has 800 watts mm -hmm. for that speaker. There's 250 watts in the mid bass and 100 watts in the top end. But because the mid range is so efficient, typically with one watt in, you get 105 out of 1K. So you're probably seeing eight watt peaks in the mid range. Okay. Pretty minimal. And then also because this low frequency horn uh, between 100 and 600 hertz, we probably pick up at least 10 dB of efficiency in this speaker, maybe more. So it's the same thing. It doesn't have to work very hard. And so what these do is they have phenomenal transit response mm -hmm. and clarity, but then really wide image. So that's the philosophy then to have great transient response with a wide image, that's the sell. That's that's, yeah, and that's the fun. And also, because I'm a bass player and I like my fifth string and I like to go to my low notes, bass is really important to me. Mm -hmm. I love tight, clear, defined low end. and so. Once again, our sub is, is pretty exceptional. It's not really a sub, as I say, it's really just the base portion of a three-way speaker. And it goes down to what? It goes down, I mean, it's actually flat at 25 hertz. Okay. So it's not rolling off. I mean, you know, it's, um, but you know, typically I'd say at, if you look at 35, 40, it's probably up a half, you know, uh, you know, and 25 is probably sitting at almost zero, and then it rolls off below that. Okay, so how much do these cost then? The entire system is $8,900, and that includes amplifiers, everything but the stands. Okay. But it's, the, it's that's the whole system. Right, great. And so I think it's, you know, um, I don't think there's anything that approaches it price-wise. Um, I, people, we've had people walk up here have been quite shocked, you know. Yeah, sure. Mainly because they're, just, they're walking around, they'll be 20 feet away and they'll hear it and they'll go, well, why, how could it sound like that that far away? So yeah. it's been a, a fun show. 
I bet. Well, thanks very much, Alan. Thanks Thank you so us. much for taking the time. We appreciate it. Cheers. Okay.